what is good everybody tj again from scissor graphics welcome to my channel if you're new don't forget to hit the subscribe button and remember to ring that bell so you will be notified when i post my tutorials today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this album art and without any further ado let's jump into today's tutorial when designing an album art you should consider digesting the project first understand it fully here you need to listen to the music know the type of song if it is rap jazz gospel and so on with this you know the feel and the background to use so people get the message fast another thing is the design you do for an upcoming artist should be different from the design you do for already known artists most upcoming artist album art does not require too many effects because the face needs to be visible this is another way of introducing the artist to the people listening to the song they mostly allow effect on their third or fourth album art because people already know them some of them prefer using just their name at this stage lastly remember to ask what type of album art inspired them putting all of this together will free you from creative block all right so, so i'm going to create a new document i'll click on file and i'll select new so for this project i'm going to be using 800 by 800 pixels okay and um the reason why i'm using 800 by 800 pixels is because i know i'm not going to print this so i'll make my resolution 100 all right so the reason why i'm using 100 as my resolution is because i know i'm not going to print this and i know i'm going to be doing some effect on the project okay that's just my way of working and i'm going to change this to album art and I'll leave every other settings the way they are and I'm going to click on the create button. So the first thing I'm going to do is to bring in the picture of my character. So I'm going to put it on a new document like so. So I already have it cropped. Okay. And I'm going to drag it and drop here like so. And I'm going to right click and convert this to a smart object. Bring out the free transform. So the reason why I always convert my layer to a smart object is because I want to be able to um, scale the picture to any size that I want and I'm still going to maintain the quality of the image. So I'm going to scale this down. So I'm going to call this dude. Okay, so I got this image from unsplash.com. So I don't know who this guy is. So I'm going to hide this layer and the next thing we're doing is to create our background. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how I create my background when it comes to uh, working on simple designs like this so i'm going to create a new layer all right and i'm going to call this clouds i'll make sure i click on this icon here to convert my foreground and my background to black and white so i'm going to go to filter and i'll select render and i'll hit the clouds option here so uh, what i'm going to do is to zoom out and i'll bring out the free transform i'll scale it big position this somewhere here all right and i'll go to filter then select liquify here all right then i'm going to use forward warp to here to um, change the look of my cloud a bit so i'm going to move this here so like so so i'm going to click on the ok button then i'll go to filter again and i'll select filter gallery on my filter gallery i'm going to be using the um, paint dubs option here i'm going to reduce my brush like so and increase the sharpen just like so i'm going to click the ok button all right and the next thing i'm going to do is to create a gradient map layer and i'm going to come here i'm going to click here to bring, to bring out my color picker and i'm going to come to the color code then i'm going to use uh, this color code to f02 so i'm going to set up okay then i'll do the same thing here by changing this to ffda08 and i'm going to click on the okay button all right and um I'll click the OK button here. So I'm going to bring out the curve adjustment and I'm going to um, move this down. 
drag this up. Okay, so because this album art is not for a popular person, that's why I'm trying to make it simple so that people can e so that people can easily see the face of the um, character. So I'm going to add noise to this by holding on Alt and click on the new layer icon, and I'm going to call this noise. And I'll change this to soft light. I've checked the fill with soft light neutral co neutral color 50% gray option, and I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to go to filter noise and select add noise all right and i'll push this out just to add more noise to it like so and i'm gonna select okay all right and so the next thing i'm going to do is to stamp visible of um the layers so i'm going to click on the noise layer and i'm going to select ctrl shift alt and e to stamp visible of the layer and i'll go to filter sharpen and i'll select the unsharp mask here just to add more details to my background all right so I'm going to move this here and I'll push this here. So now if I zoom in, you see we're beginning to see some texture on the face of um, our background. So I'm going to zoom out. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is to make my um, character visible. Okay. And I'll add a gradient map to my character. So I'm going to go to the gradient map option here. And I'll click on this icon to apply it to just my character so i'm going to click on the ingredient editor and i'll double click here to bring out the color picker and i'll change the code of this to 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 all right which is black okay and i'll come here and um, i'm going to change this to 7a 7a then four zeros one two three four and i'm gonna select k okay, and i'll change the location to 15. okay so i'm gonna click here again and i'll come here and change this to e8 e85 d04 and i'll click uh the okay button so what i'm trying to do here is i still want to maintain the shade of my background color on my character space so as to make it uniform so I'll change the location of um, this orange to, um, let's say 42, all right? Then um, for this one, which is the white, I'm gonna change this to F. I want this to have light shade of orange, FF, and this should be DE8A, all right, like so. So I'm gonna hit okay. And I'm gonna set up okay. Now you see the look of um, our character is looking too reddish, so we are gonna fix that um, pretty soon. And I'm gonna bring out another gradient map. So I'm just gonna to go to my adjustment panel and I'm gonna click on the new gradient map option again. I'm gonna click on the, this icon to apply to just only the layer. So what we're gonna to do to this is we are gonna blend it this because on the shadow of our character we have the red feel on it so it's not making it look um real the way i think it should look so i'm going to make the layer visible again and i'm going to blend it there so um since this is going to apply to just only a shadow so i'm going to move from here to here like so so i'll hold on alt and click to break the slider and i'll move this here just to smoothen it i'll move this here and move this here all right now you see we have a shadow looking black okay so i'm going to um reduce the opacity just a little like so all right and i'll hit okay so um this is the before and this is the after so um the next thing i'm going to do is to add color lookup so i'm going to add a color lookup to this and the color lookup i'm going to use is going to be the um scripts winter what the color lookup did is to boost the color on the project just to push it out all right what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select the layer mask of the gradient and take out the effect that's the color from the eyeball of my character so i'm going to zoom in and i'm going to select the brush tool and i'll reduce the size of my brush now make sure you're using the soft round brush for this okay so you need to make sure that your foreground color is set to black all right so i'm going to start with the very first um, gradient map we apply to the character all right so i'm just going to apply my brush to the eye all right so i'm going to do the same thing here 
going to zoom out. So now we have this. So the next thing I'm going to do again now is to stamp visible of the layer so as to be able to take it to camera row. So I'm going to hold down Control Shift Alt and E to stamp visible of the layer, and I'll go to filter, then camera row filter. Okay. So what I'm going to do here now is what I call color grading. So I'm going to start with the basic. I'll push up the exposure just a little and push the contrast down like so not too much and uh, for the texture i want to add more contrast to the um pixel so i'm gonna move this up like so all right and um i'll go straight down to the hsl all right and um, i need to reduce the strength of red on the face of my character here so i uh, i'm gonna select the saturation and i'll push this down okay so um I'll go to the hue and I'll move this up like so. Now you see we are now having less red on the face of our character and then we have more of um, orange. So um, I'll go back to the saturation and just increase the red a little. All right, because it's affecting this part of um, our project, but don't worry, we're going to fix that later. Okay, so I'm going to um, move this here like so. All right, and the next thing I'm going to do is to add more noise to this. So I'm going to drag it up like so, so as to have noise on um, the project like so. Okay, and um, we need to add more sharpen to this. So let's go to the details tab, which is this. So I'm going to move this up like so. All right, uh, I think we still need to adjust this to this. So I'm just going to move this down just like so okay so for the curve yeah i almost missed this so i'm just going to move this down and i'm going to move this up like um so and the next thing i'm going to do is to click on the ok button so we have this so this is the before and this is the after after so you see we're missing some part of the orange here so i'm going to add a layer max to this i'll select the brush tool and i'm just going to add that back to my scene just like so all right so one other thing we can do again is to add hue to this just to reduce the strength of the color so i'm going to reduce the saturation just a bit like so and i'm going to stamp visible of this again by holding down ctrl shift alt and e the reason i'm doing this is to add depth of field to the project i'm going to go to filter blur gallery and i'll select field blur so i'm going to just reduce the blur strength Next thing I'm going to do is to hit the OK button up here. All right. So I'm going to add a layer max to this. I'm going to reverse the layer max by hitting Ctrl I on my keyboard. Then I'll select my brush tool and make sure that I'm on my soft round brush. And I'm going to switch this to white because it's the opposite of black here. So I'm going to reduce the size of my brush and I'm going to zoom in and just uh, apply that shadow to this part of character just like so this is good so one other thing i want to do again is i really want to make this part more um darker all right so i'm going to add huge saturation to this and i'm going to move this down like so and I'm, so i'm going to reverse the mask again by hitting ctrl i i'll select the brush tool then I'm going to just apply white to the um, layer mask of the hue so as to bring back the hue on the part where I want it to appear on my character. So I'm going to zoom in. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to add my text.
I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and if you have not subscribed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and remember to ring that bell so you will be notified when I post my tutorials. I'll see you guys again in the next one. Peace.